Hello, uh, in this tutorial I'll, I will be showing you how to model something with uh, with curves. So we delete the cube and we bring up this image so uh, it's on this uh, red vine that you see here. Uh, so the bottom of the glass should be on this red vine and then we also need to center the glass like that yeah okay and then we add a curve a Bessier curve and then we move it out and we select this here or we can select all and press uh, S for scale and then Y and 0 and then select this one and go up here and click on the X and type in zero and press enter. <coughs> so now it's centered there. And now take this one out to about here. And you can scale it down like that. And then rotate it like that. And then you can bring this up to here maybe and do something like that yeah okay and then you bring it up to here We just follow the glass here, uh, like this. But you don't need to do the inside of the glass. We can use a modifier to make that. Uh, so, uh, okay. Now we have this, uh, this line here, and now what you can do is to add a screw modifier. So now you have the glass, and then you can click on Calc Order, and it will make this glass. And then uh, now you can uh, click on Alt C, and you can make it to a mesh. And then you can add a solidify modifier, and you can increase the thickness. Uh, so, mm, yeah, I think something like this would be good. And then you can click on apply, and then you can select this one. Hold control and oops, that was not correct. Now hold control and click on plus. Until we get up to about here. And let's take a few more. Yeah. And then click on the leak vertices. And now we can just fix this part here. Now we have a glass made of uh, a curve. 
so that's how you how you do that and then you can go up here and make it a little bit sharper and then you can also take these out to make uh, yeah like a rounded uh, edge there and now if you want you can go into cycles and you can add materials uh, a gloss material uh, like that and then you can uh, go to world and you can choose environment texture and you can open and go to uh, here and choose an HDR picture and then you can go in here and then select the glass and make sure that the color is completely white and yeah now we have a, a wine glass here and maybe you want to add a plane to it so add a plane and then you can stir it up and make a bevel here and then click O for proportional editing and just bring this up a little bit like that and click on smooth and then go to here and hold control alt and click the uh, zero on the numpad and the camera will go to that position and then screw it up on the x axis and now you can try make a render Okay, so this is the final result. You can see that there are some white spots. Uh, I don't really know if it's possible to fix that. But there's a wine glass at least and it's made from a curve. So that's it. Bye bye.